um, th that you're building into your service. I like this. It's I nice. I think it would uh, make sense for show me a demo. I want to see it right. actually work. Very working. quickly, yeah. So it, this is not going to be a complicated one. Just to show you how you can do a nice little easy high level strongly typed client API around uh, around your uh, app service client side. Beautiful. So here we are back in the client app and all this code here, this kind of verbose, quite lengthy code, this is kind of too much code to write every time you want to call an app service in the client app. So we can really tidy this up quite a lot. Uh, so I have actually already done that. So I'm going to add to my solution an existing project, which is a synonym service client library. And inside it, it's got a couple of classes. Uh, the main one is the synonym service client, which it has in it all of that same code, all that plumbing code that you need to, to uh, trigger an app service and to communicate with it. So it's all hidden away in here because it's all very repetitive stuff. And, you, you know, a client app shouldn't have to write all this. So it's all encapsulated in this one nice method, uh, an async method called get synonyms async. So to use this client library, I'm just going to add a reference in my in my the client app to this client library. Uh, so that's now referenced and then we can go and uh, really tidy up this code in the client app So first of all, I don't need to directly handle the app service connection because that's handled for me by the library uh, Again this code here uh, All that verbose code goes and instead I've got down here already commented out this code which is instead uses my client library so yeah, The beauty of it is all you have to do is new up an instance of the synonym service client and then we can just use it and call it get synonyms async method like this. In fact, most of the code you can see here is just about presenting the response to, uh, you know, in the through a message dialog. And this client library would be very nice. We'll run it now. Would be very nice package, maybe as a new get package or, or just as a reusable library. So let's put in synonyms for uh, JLo. Make call to the cloud service and it comes back with a response that's uh, suitable as Jennifer Lopez. So it works just the same. Well, <laughs> it's as easy as we thought. That really makes it simple for anybody consuming the service, right? They, they, you guide them through it so they can't get it wrong. I like it. Yep. So there we go. So that was a uh, run through what we have with app services. We looked at what it is, uh, ran through quickly the bare bones of a client and the server, and you can see it's not particularly complicated. We took looked at how you might want to debug this, mm -hmm. how you find the package family name, and how you set breakpoint and things. Uh, and then we dug a little bit just into some of the other aspects that you might want to think about in using these, the lifetime, how you might want to wrap it in a nice clean client SDK, a um, little bit about controlling access and versioning. It's cool stuff. It really is, yep. This is the developer's guide to Windows 10 Preview. So we're seeing a lot of the neat stuff coming our way. Things that you can play with right now already start to think, what can you do in your application to take advantage of some of these cool features? Go play with app services. See how cool it is. Yeah. Start thinking about maybe some architectural decisions that you get to make and take advantage of as well. Then come back, watch another module with us later.